My washing machine is not spinning. This video will go through the common causes and basic fault binding techniques to help you diagnose the problem. Before starting work, ensure the washing machine is isolated from the electric supply. Live tests with the power on should only be done with the correct training and test equipment. The motor is what turns your washing machine drum. It does this via a belt connecting the motor to a flywheel attached to the back of the drum. Therefore, if you find your drum is not turning when the machine reaches the wash stage or the spin stage of the program cycle, the motor could be faulty. Testing the motor. You will find a terminal block located at the side of the motor. The following is a basic test to see if the motor is receiving a voltage when the programmer is asking the drum to spin. Using a multimeter set to AC voltage, test from every pin to earth. If a voltage is present, then that means that the problem is with the internal components of the motor itself or the motor brushes. The two brushes are located on either side of the motor. As shown in the video, detach the two spade connectors and remove the two brushes. Please note the orientation of the sloping edge of the brush. As you can see, the carbon brushes can wear out. If they do not make contact with the commutator rings, the electric circuit of the motor will be broken, and hence your motor will not run. Removing the brushes is easy. Please note, changing them is specific to the type of brush and brand of washing machine. When replacing the brushes back in their mountings, please ensure they are orientated in the correct way. Motor belt. Another simple problem could be the motor belt, and that is it has detached from the motor spindle and flywheel at the back of the drum. You can gain access to this via the washing machine's back panel. If the belt is broken, it will have to be replaced. Pressure switch. The next component is the pressure switch. This device simply monitors the level of water in the drum, and this allows the machine to stop filling and draining. Testing this component is very simple. There should be continuity on two of the pins. Once the state of the switch changes, the other pair of pins will have continuity and the first pair will be open circuit. 
Please note, these switches are very reliable and therefore the problem may lie within the tube and connecting the pressure switch to the drum. Check this tube and air chamber for blockages by blowing down the tube. Drainage pump. The last component is the drainage pump. If the machine does not drain, the machine will not move onto the spin cycle. The drum will turn at the beginning of the wash cycle, but the machine will stop if it is not able to drain the water. To check for any blockages, unscrew the white cap and remove the filter and clean. If the filter is clean, then check the resistance of the motor. This should be approximately 170 ohms. You can also check to see if there is a voltage present when the machine has reached the drain stage of the cycle. If there is a voltage present, then the motor will have to be replaced.